Hello, my name is Steve England and I've come to Stoke Park here in Bristol. It's a place where I've spent most of my life. In the years I've spent here, I have found some fascinating species of fungus. But what's just as fascinating is how different species of fungus can break wood down in different ways. In this video, I'm going to share with you how they do it. Have a look at this. This is holm oak and it's 261 years old. It's been invaded by fungus, but not any fungus. This is Inonitus dryadus, also known as the oak bracket fungus or weeping fungus. Have a look at what it's done. It's sent his fungal strands into the tree and it's sucking out all the moisture of this tree and you can see it dropping out of these pores on the top. Once it's done that, it's then in a position to digest the tree and start decomposing it. Well, as you can see, it's opened up a big crack in the tree. We've come around to the other side now to have a look and look at it, it's followed all the way down through here. And to find out exactly what they've done to the tree, I need to stick my hand inside of this tree and pull out and see what happens. I've no idea what's in there and I am scared, but I'm gonna do it for you. Wow, have a look at this. This is the end result of what these fungus are doing to the tree. That is bone dry. There's no moisture in there whatsoever. And it's the fungus that has done it. It sucked all the moisture out, drops it out of the pores, what we looked at earlier. Now it starts to eat the tree. And as you can see, this tree is doomed. It may last another 20 years, 30 years, whatever. Not all fungus are beneficial. And this one certainly is a tree killer. The one you're looking at now is called Southern Bracket Fungus. And this has a different way of decomposing wood. Have a look. Can you see this here? This is detritus. Basically, it's sawdust. And it'll go right the way through this tree. This tree's been laid down for the best part of 20 years. And it's still feeding these fungus. Not for much longer. But look at this. This is detritus sawdust the one we looked at earlier completely different it sucked the life out of it different now we're gonna have a look at another one an even more very unusual very unique way of how trees decompose now we're looking at another species of fungus this gorgeous little thing this is chicken of the woods fungus and it's gone orange because it's done its thing now it's released its spores and it's just going over now Two weeks ago this would have been very sulfurous yellow, hence it's named sulfur polypore. And this breaks wood down in a completely different way to what we've looked at so far. We've looked at the oak bracket fungus where it sucks the moisture out of the wood and drops it through its pores. We've looked at the southern bracket fungus where it rots it down into a sawdust. This one, completely different again. Have a look at this. Here is a piece of the branch of wood that's actually decomposed. And how it works is the chicken of the woods will send out a chemical through the wood and that chemical changes the composition of the wood which then enables it to eat it. But the odd thing is about this one is it changes it into cubes, hence the name cuboidal rot. Have a look, can you see? It's like brickwork. All the way through, right the way through there. Now, this fungus is edible. I wouldn't eat it in this state because it's done its business now and it's too tough. It's pretty much like velvet. But don't you find it really fascinating just how fungus can break wood down in different ways? It's the digestion process that we're looking at. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed these videos. You too can get the chance to explore your local land, whether it's the woods or out in the fields, on UK Fungus Day, October the 13th. Thanks for watching.